One of my biggest regrets of my first indie game, Chess Survivors, was that I added my cats Carl and Martin as playable characters, which is objectively adorable, but the issue is that you couldn't actually pet my cats. So with that in mind, for my new 2D mining game here, I'm going to create a home base where the player and the pet can hang out, and most importantly, making it so you can pet the cat. But first, we need to build a home base so the cat actually has somewhere to hang out. Now, a few days ago, I threw together this simple little tile set using a sprite, and my goal was to use a tile set so I could build out a system similar to Terraria where the player could build out their own base. And then I threw together a quick little scene using that tile set and I frankly hate how it looks. But now that I got that out of my system, I was able to spend yesterday, which was my day off, just relaxing in Ace Bright. And here's what I came up with. And I like this aesthetic so much more. And the big part is that I don't have to build out a whole system like Terraria for base building. Instead, I can build out discrete chunks of the workshop. And as the player unlocks those chunks for their base, I can simply add them into the base and build out this very handcrafted feel for what I want the base to look like. Which brings us to today. Let's quickly jump into Godot and throw in that new artwork into a new scene we'll call home base. And I can go ahead and add in some collision shapes using a static body and a collision polygon 3D and just kind of outline all the parts where the player can't actually walk. All right, that looks pretty good. Now that we have a base built, we need some sort of mechanism to move between the home base and the cave system. And I'm thinking I'm gonna have a portal mechanic to do that. And so let me hop into a sprite quickly and just lean into the creative process. When I'm first starting out with a new project, I like to just explore and feel out the art style that I'm vibing with. And for this project in particular, I'm really starting to like this ancient runes with the cracks and, and the crevices and some, some vines growing over it. And in my head, you're almost inhabiting these old technological runes that have maybe come from a fallen empire and you're using that power to harness it and, and build this portal which can bring you into the void realm where you're gonna be mining in the caves. Let me know in the comments what you think about that sort of art style. It's so early. It can change really quickly with your feedback. And just like before, we can easily just throw that art into our new home base scene. Add a few child notes for the actual portal effect so we can easily hide so I show the portal when we want to. And then I'm gonna mess around with some CPU particle effects here and just kind of make them orbit around and have different colors so it kind of looks like a, a mystic portal is happening. And finally, I can add in an area 2D, put a collision shape all around the art and then connect the input event signal to my code. And when it is a mouse button left click, we'll simply just call a method to change the scene over to our cave scene. And on our player script, we can do the same sort of thing when the player takes damage. If the new health is less than or equal to zero, we will switch the scene back to be the home base. For our test here, I've increased the bat's damage to be 100, so we'll get one shot. And perfect, we do come back to the home base scene. Now let's jump over into our portal and just left click on the portal and stutter, but oh, yep, we do load a new cave instance, perfect. Now that our base is actually set up, it's time to be able to pet the cat. And to do that, I'm gonna create an area 2D. When the player enters that area, we'll go ahead and show a command to press P to pet the cat. When that is pressed, we'll use an animation player to show a meow. And once that meow is done, after the proper time for the meow to occur, which is right now gonna be one second, we will show the pet command P if the player is still in range. If not, we'll let the cat be on its own. I've often heard that the ability to pet the animal you see in the game is what defines a truly great game. So I think I'm on the right path here, but let me know what you think down in the comments below. I will be live right after I publish this video over on Twitch at twitch.com slash Aramis. I'd love to hear your feedback and ideas live about my 2D mining game. I'm really excited to be working on this and I hope you are as well. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Aramis. Have a wonderful day.